investing in Indianapolis one home at a time. Since opening their company Two Chicks and a Hammer in 2007, Karen Elaine and Mina Starziak Hawk, stars of HGTV's hit series Good Bones, have renovated over 100 houses in central Indiana. The beloved mother-daughter duo of Karen E. Lane and Mina Starziak Hawk, they've become nothing short of HGTV royalty since their home renovation show Good Bones hit the airwaves in 2016, putting Indianapolis in the national spotlight. Let's uh, go now to Indy's Fountain Square neighborhood where around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has details on Mina's latest business venture. Mary Rachel. That's right. Mina has a new spinoff series of her own, and it's bigger, bolder, and even more of a gamble than any home renovation she's ever attempted. And the title says it all. Good bones, risky business. So that looked like a little bit of a jump for me outside. It's coming inside, but there's a reason for it. We can't show you what's going on in here because it's still a work in progress, but who better to tell you about it than the DIY renovation queen, Mina Starziak Hawk. All right, Mina, what kind of trouble have you gotten yourself into with this place? So much, over a million dollars of trouble. Um, I uh, honestly, the way it all started, it was supposed to be a four month project, uh, it took about 14. So everyone's very unhappy about that, but it's turning out amazing. Um, I saw this listing come up, I don't know, about a year and a half ago, and I just, I just have to have it. Terrible decision, terrible investment, um, but it's been um, an awesome project and I'm really, really close to getting towards the end. What's the difference from seven seasons of Good Bones? This is a little bit different than that. Definitely. Um, those projects, I would say the average investment is probably 300,000 and the average square footage is probably 12 to 1400. Uh, this project, the main house and the carriage house, I think are 6,700 square feet altogether. Just a way, way bigger project. So every problem is bigger. Um, every problem takes more time to solve and more money to solve. So it's been uh, a huge learning curve. This whole show is a little bit more invasive. It's very different. It's much more um, like cop style. So everything's on camera, whether I like it or not. This was a very emotionally tumultuous project. A lot of that gets edited out in Good Bones because there's not enough time. But I was in my car doing some driving shots and the, the bottom fell out and I needed a minute. And I was like, you get, I turned the camera off. I drove away. So I was outside of the range of the mic and lost it crying, yelling, calling my, I mean, everything. I probably blacked out and I was like, okay, okay. I can go back now and I pull up and there was a camera in my backseat that I totally forgot about. So it's all on camera, which is probably good. I mean, production was so happy with themselves, but um, it really is no holds bar for what they have access to. And although I am an executive producer and probably could have some say in how they edit it, I have a great production company and it's going to be really cool when it when it is all put together. And you haven't seen this yet, right? I haven't. We don't get to see anything before it. Are you a little nervous at all? I am. Um, honestly, though, after you know seven seasons of Good Bones airing, you kind of get used to, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. So, hopefully, it's not any worse than what I've already seen myself do. Probably a little more cursing. Well, I will say you have tons of fans here in Indianapolis. And this uh, risky business, Good Bones Risky Business, will debut September 6th on HGTV and Discovery Plus. Mm -hmm. Mina, good luck Thank with you. everything. Thank I you. think that everybody's really going to enjoy this one. Back to you in the studio. All right, Mary Rachel, thank you. And Mina tells us also that this property is actually listed now on Airbnb.